How are you all doing? So greetings all over the world, wherever you were. You know, in life, right, there is what is called opportunity cost. And that opportunity cost. And it's also what is called scale of preference. Yeah. So that means, right, there's time for everything. There is time for everything. And the reason why many people struggle a lot is misplacement of what? Priority. Misplacement of priority. Let me tell you. You know, growing up, I grew up in a home that is very, very strict, a polygamous home. My goodness. If you grow up in a polygamous home and you don't have sense, there's there's a big, a big issue with you. There's so much struggles going growing up in a polygamous home and there's so many politics there too. But one thing I know that I gained and I'm very grateful for is that my dad was very, very strict. Very, very strict. I mean, for my age, and I've been married for the past 20-something years, right? I can count the number of parties I've gone in my life. I'm telling you. That is what is called discipline. I mean, my dad made it so that I don't miss what I don't know. So I never really missed any of those things. Like, I didn't miss it. So on today's episode, the reason why people struggle is because they misplace priority. If you see me on any party with my husband, it will be that that thing is very, very important that we have to go. I don't. I don't go to Paris. I don't at all. So I have my own phone. I catch my own phone because I have, I have self-disciplined myself to be where I am today. Okay? There's really no reason for you as a woman not to be self-sufficient to help your home if i i don't have no girl child if i have a girl child my god she will be ready to be there for her husband it's not that men are not supposed to be the one only going outside to struggle for their home no as a woman my god you don't allow situation or anything to relegate you to background. Come on now. You are a full grown person, a full human being. My mother told me growing up that the eye that you used to see up to the end of time, it starts showing that sign. I discipline myself to be where I am today. So it is important that as a lady, you don't believe that it's, ma it's a man that would be all in all to go out and hustle and all of that. You need to have something that even the man will be looking up to. So on today's episode, I want to encourage you all ladies out there. I didn't have anyone to empower me. I empowered myself. So, but today we are here encouraging you to empower yourself. Now, I'm beginning to think that gone are the days that you say that your child is going to marry a Nigerian girl. No, my children will not do that. Because the girls in Nigeria these days are something else. Right? Unless there's a change of move. And that's why I talk about churches. All this moral, they are no longer preaching it in the mosque. They are not preaching it. We need to preach morals so that girls will know that you don't open your body for nothing. You don't have to do that. You can be anything you want to be. So on today's episode, I want to use the word of mouth to encourage you to go out there and get something doing for yourself. And empower yourself so you can empower your own. And there's no reason why you have to wait for your husband. To be the one hustling and bringing things home. No. You have to be that person, a woman of substance, who will be there 
in times of need in their home. And I want to thank you all for listening. Know that there's time for what? Everything. And self-discipline is important. 